Hi guys, it's Anne. Hope everybody is doing well through this huge transitional time that we are going through. Definitely a lot going on, as you all know. Been dealing with some very sticky energy, is what I want to call it. It's like we're pulling our way through a web of stickiness and every day seems to be a bit of a challenge to keep moving forward and to keep really um, the momentum going of moving in the direction of our dreams. And boy, talking about dreams, there's certainly a lot of clearing that is going on in our sleep time, if you are getting any. We've been definitely navigating some very fluctuating energies and they have led to very deep aspects of ourselves in some cases. Anger and frustration is poking its head through. A lot of people starting to get indications that there's more to them than they ever realized and it is being projected out. Uh, empaths especially are going to be feeling this on top of the fact that we are feeling a lot of collective energy at play here, a lot of fear-based communication. So many people are caught up in this game of living in fear and anxiety. It's just become a way of life. It is what we talk about at the water cooler instead of the weather now, it is the latest and greatest about what the government seems to be deciding to do. Uh, even though a lot of this stuff is not cohesive, doesn't seem to connect together, um, isn't necessarily um, consistent, um, and it is just a web tangled full of messages of narrative, of energy that is simply all over the place. So what we come back to is our own truth, coming back to ourselves and our truth. That's really all we have to hang on to. And the fundamentals of who we are, of being organic beings, really attached to um, the earth and what the earth offers. We are here to uh, co-create along with the earth and with each other. So this is taking us through some very difficult energies that I'm finding. Again, this stickiness. So we're moving forward. We, we're taking steps to move forward. It's really important that um, we balance this transformational energy. So the balance of, of being, of coming back to appreciating the now moment and not always rushing through and action. So this is to show the universe that you have intention, that you are putting your best foot forward, even in the smallest of baby steps, even if it's just to keep yourself together, getting through the day. It's very important because what we're finding is when we do this work, when we keep creating in our life, it's very interesting because we are creating uh, a lot by taking these small steps and taking breaks to integrate this energy because it's a lot um, but we are creating even more in um, and manifesting even more in our physical world where it makes sense for us on our journey because we're very much being guided here so there's a lot of momentum forward but the mind the ego mind wants to continue to continue to convince us that we have to be held back, that there's something wrong. So it is really an energetic game right now. You've got to be on top of it. You've got to recognize that there is bigger energies at play here. So a lot of guidance is being provided. The nudges are extremely important. The planning is not necessarily essential anymore. Um, it is more about feeling your way through to the next steps and what feels right in your gut and in your soul and letting go. A lot of it is letting go, being in gratitude for what we've got, and it's the balance of those things. We're also finding that um, there is a lot of energy, supporting energy coming through if you're open to it. So when we're asleep at night or when we can't sleep at night 
or first thing in the morning when we um, haven't engaged um, through all of the uh, narrative and energetics uh, of what's happening in the world to really, really spend some energy time listening to uh, what your higher self is asking of you. And a lot of this is coming back to creating, uh, clearing your energy, cl clearing out what no longer um, needs to be there from your nighttime, uh, planning, um, thinking through and feeling what you want your day to look like, really setting the intention of creating a beautiful day, uh, thinking of how you might feel, say uh, Christmas Eve, uh, as you're a, when you're a child, something very exciting. Um, think of those kinds of things, that feeling of elevation, of higher frequency, of trusting the universe to keep you moving in the right direction. And to really trust um, these moments because they happen intuitively for a lot of us and you don't always know what you're doing and that is okay. So using your hands um, to help clear the energy, to imagine um, having protection around you through your day, through um, deciding that you want to emanate uh, an, a, a, an energetic love out there um, when you're engaging with people to understand that yes there is a lot of projection happening out there for obvious reasons people are getting inundated and confused with so much of what is going on uh, it's understandable so again I'm holding on to compassion. We don't need to absorb the energy from others. Again, uh, another navigation technique. But remember that we are here, we're working here. Our mission here is to continue to move towards this new earth environment. It is one that is requires us to remain focused, to really take the cues from our intuitive self when it comes to taking care of ourselves, to eating, to drinking, uh, watching out for old habits that wanna trickle in and coerce you into moving backwards. We're also forgetting um, key things that we've learned. So reinforcement of your mastery skills is really, really important. Staying disciplined on good habits and good behavior. Uh, I know for me, I have been sitting a little bit in my comfort zone, integrating all of this really challenging energy. It's huge shifting that is happening now. We are feeling so many shifts and changes on a daily basis. I mean, it is, it's just, it's everywhere. It is um, intense and it is dynamic. And we have to really, really uh, remember to uh, keep moving a little bit out of our comfort zone every day. So uh, I've been a little bit hanging back and today it's like, no, I've been getting up and I'm doing the hair and I'm getting out there. It's beautiful, beautiful weather. And we have to remember to stay in that upbeat, childlike, um, positive mode of uh, really moving out into the world with an eye of a child and seeking and enjoying all the little things. We only get one shot at this life, guys. So remember to live each day like it was your last and we forget these simple and basic things when we're caught up in this really very challenging web stickiness of navigating through this um, these polarities of, of ourselves, of the collective right now. So it's taking uh, uh, the light workers really into the self-care mode. Um, you don't necessarily need to be vocally out in the world, but to carry that energy, um, that consciousness uh, through the day. Not easy work. I mean, being conscious and continually monitoring uh, where the thought processes are going is work in itself, as you probably all know. This journey is 
uh, one that requires a, a lot of of discipline and it's actually you know it is it doesn't appear on the surface to be anything at all but when we're talking about awareness of our consciousness of the magnitude of the shifts that are happening now uh, that is uh, our primary work and to stay stand in our absolute truths and this is we're starting to see uh, some weakness happen when it comes to uh, the truths and what has been hidden a lot of that um, uh, breath work um, breathing is a really really super strong message right now so if you haven't if you're not aware of your breathing please uh, do some homework on this understand the true value of our oxygen levels in our body of breathing properly and um, to really maintain that focus on coming back to breaths to keeping your breaths deep to recognizing when you're shallow breathing super super important message that has been coming through quite strongly um, another one is uh, really understanding from an emotional intelligence standpoint so so many so many people we are running on these programs that have been ingrained in us for such a long time it is based it is based on control on deception on fear and uh, primarily the word control is the big thing coming to mind we have to recognize that this is all based on not understanding one's self of getting identification from others from uh, the aspect of controlling others of uh, really being unaware of our authentic being so when we come back to starting to open up this uh, this box of self when we start to open up to the truths about who we are and what we have accepted this is really where the game starts to really get interesting because uh, it is one where you're sort of left what is true and what is not true and a lot of people right now are waking up more and more people are waking up to this true sense of selves and it can be very confusing time so again uh, be patient understand where you're coming from recognize the programs that you're operating on and a really big one right now is um, the fact that uh, we are desensitizing so it's a desensitizing initiative that's what's come through for me and we've been taught to be we've been desensitized so much unbelievable it's still happening there is so much violence and anger and fear that is projected onto us through all the media it is you do not even realize how desensitized we've become so as we separate from this collective um, desensitized point of view we get more and more sensitive we become more and more empathic we start to really um, using our uh, all of our senses much 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 more and this is why that happens is because we're coming back to who we truly are as sensitive beings that are taking the cues from the universe and from the earth that is what we are naturally meant to do and the uh the the outside uh the the outside world is trying very hard to really keep us in that um desensitized mode where um you know things like uh like death and destruction and fear and all of these things are just considered to be everyday activities we ha we are being and have been trained for a long time in this program so it's really important to really watch what you are absorbing in terms of energy 
there are some movie um, programs out there and I cannot actually believe the darkness that exists in what they're showing as their lineups. It is absolutely mind-blowingly unbelievable. So please be conscious and aware of where these messages are being dropped and shown. You know, try and keep an eye on your kids. They're being programmed so much these days through all of this. Keeping uh, ourselves back to getting outside in nature is absolutely the key here. So there's a few things, guys. I mean, we are going through major changes right now in the throes of this solstice energy, and it is a lot. So hang on to your hats. You know, I'm feeling all of this too, big, big time. Not to mention Pluto and Mars being in opposition. Wow, talk about power players in, in, um, in projecting anger and frustration. Part of the transformation that we go through is recognizing where we're holding on to this anger, which is actually those things that we are holding on to. That's actually the pain that is coming out. Uh, we're talking about Mercury retrograde. We're talking about so much planetary energy on top of everything else. It is definitely a lot. So that's not an excuse. That is just to say, if you're feeling all of this, it's for a reason. Because you are in the throes of major transformation and change. And so is the earth. So don't be fooled by the radio or the television because there is what we're doing here is so much more powerful. We are coming from a place of love, of organic love, joy and compassion that has to be our coming back to place. Yes, we are being pulled off course and that is part of the process too. We just have to accept and surrender. More things are being cleared and standing firmly in our own power. Remember, you have the choice. You have the choice every moment of the day to where you're going to decide to stay. Something comes in for you to recognize. You say, yes, I'm going to sit with it. I feel this. And then recognize it and then get up and move on to something else. It really is that simple if you recognize these things happening consciously. All right, well, that's what I have for you guys today. It's beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous weather here. Find something you enjoy to do, to be grateful for. Go play on a swing. Use this Gemini energy not to overthink into spirals of confusion. <laughs> Uh, as a Gemini moon, that happens, um, but to find your creativity, to find your joy in doing something different, to find a way to make other people laugh at life. Boy, more people need to be doing that these days. It's heavy out there, folks, but we got this. Love you all very much. Thank you for watching, and we'll definitely talk soon. Bye.